Okay, a shortage. <laughs> uh, All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm glad y'all could swing my Tennessee Gun Country. It does have tons of powder in H335. Got two pounds of that for thirty-three dollars and sixty-eight cents. The Varget was the same price. Something that I did need for a little project coming up was the IMR eighty-two oh eight XBR. Whew, yeah. I don't know why the price on this is the way it was, but eh, forty-one dollars. Eh. We swung by. We kind of do about the same thing all the time. We did go to my academy. Picked up some more 9mm Luger. 124 grain of these here Federals. And these was $19.99. Something that I haven't seen in a long time. Y'all look at that, guys. The CCI Stinger. I ain't seen these in a long time. It's probably put up in a warehouse somewhere. And... They just now dragging them back out. But these was nine dollars ninety-nine cents. Yeah. Well, <clears throat> I don't know. I just kinda like the stingers. Really, that's all we got at Academy. And then we left Academy and we went on to Royal King. To Royal King. They had quite a bit of stuff, but they just really didn't really have a lot of stuff that we really needed. I wanted to change it up a little bit. Go from the wolf over to some of these right here. These are seven ninety nine. That's just a 12 gauge, two and three quarter, 1325 nine pellet. So I just figured we'd try them out. And to be honest with you, that's just about all that I got at Royal King. Go from the Wolf over to some of these right here. These are 799. That's just a 12 gauge, two and three quarter, 1325 nine pellet. So I just figured we'd try them out. And to be honest with you, that's just about all that I got at Royal King. Look, I know guys, wait till you see the prices. It's the 22 Federal Auto Match 325 in each pack, and they were $17.73. That's the cheapest I've seen some of this stuff in a long time. I've been looking everywhere, trying to find some decent slugs. Well, they happen to have some at Wally World. And they, right there, the Winchester 12 gauge, 2 and 3 quarters, 1600 velocity, 1 ounce slugs for $5.96. Compared to the other stuff, guys, it was, if they've got it, this is just the way that I'm seeing it, if they have it in stock, which don't seem like they've got very much in stock, but if they do, it just seems like it is at a fairly decent price. And that'll be a decision that y'all will have to make. But As far as the little trip in the Wally World, that's what we got on that. This is probably my best time of the whole week. This is whenever I just go through and pluck different comments and stuff out. Kind of the comment section and or emails very first one it says stop hoarding you are taking food out of my family's mouth <laughs> all right let's break this down stop hoarding okay i would say how about no you are taking food out of my family's mouth that would be the secondary part of the question i might be wrong but if your family if this is your family's dietary plan you might need to see a doctor it's really not good for you or your kids man but i appreciate the question that is absolutely wonderful then we got another question where are all the primers all your primers are in canada <laughs> uh, just just look it up just go through Google it, find you some primers on it, and you will see that Canada, it was kind of like the same thing, if y'all remember. Now, Canada is not just stock full of some weird type of odd primers. They are stock full of the same primers that we usually get here. CCI, Remington, Federal, 
I can go on and on and on. Why do they have truckloads and truckloads and truckloads of primers there and we have to literally act goofy around here to even get them? I, I don't know. That's a question that you definitely have to ask somebody. But that would be my answer to that. Are prices going to go back down on ammunition? Maybe just a little bit, but I'm going to say no. If you could sell this for $25.99 and you know everybody's going to buy it, which they are, they're doing it right now, why in the world are you, do you think you're, this is going to go back to $9.99 for 50 That would be a very dumb business deal. All right, another question is, where is all the gas at? I don't really know how to answer this, but just tell you straight up. Around here, we usually get it at the gas station. Uh, I, I really, honestly, I don't know any other way to to answer that. Alright everyone, we have some shirts available. They're posted in the video so y'all can see them. We have several different sizes to choose from, from small to 3X. There's also several different colors to choose from. We're also working on the coffee cups and the stickers. Please stay tuned. Ladies and gentlemen, I appreciate you watching. I want to thank all the new subscribers that's come in on the whole channel. We do greatly appreciate everything that you do do. But as far as this week, I believe it is going to cover it. I will see you on the next video. Be sure to like. Be sure to subscribe. And if you wouldn't mind, go down in that link down in the description area down there and check out them MSCB shirts. Don't blow your noggin off and let me know what you think. But I'll see you on the next video. God bless you.